Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, with me, Get Daved. Music in Zeal Palace is a bit less happy than Corridors of Time, is the music we were listening to in the last episode, by the way. You can find some amazing mixes of it on the YouTube. Center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal, which is to say the center of the universe. You guys, I'm like the rich kid in high school. Regular bunch of Malfoys. Okay. Alright, so they built this huge palace on their new subterranean, or sub... What would that be? Sub-Aquanian? Sub-Aquanian? Interesting. It's as if he already knows the events to come. We got ourselves another time traveler. Do you like plants? Yeah, I love them too. Do you wanna? Do you wanna get something to drink? The powers to restore the earth. Yeah, grow it. Why would you not want to do that? The earth is a frozen wasteland. You never know when you might need it to, you know, be as nice as where you live. We have some stake in this game, don't get me wrong. Someone else who loves the earth and trees. It was a little self-serving of us to be like, yes, restore the earth, make it green and not so cold, preferably in the next 13,000 years. Indeed. Oh, we've talked to you already. And this new! Could you scratch my back? You bet. Boom. I know you're all thrilled. We found the scratching spot. Which would be kind of like a good name for a bar, I think. Interesting. Either way, I guess he's being used, although if he knows the future, can he be used? Secret chambers. Yes, I've been there. Trash the place. The mammon machine. She's been different. Oh yeah, now that she's very close to getting what she wants. Personality is a bit different. You can go up these. St hey! I want to be the wind! How you guys been? I talked to her. Whoosh! <laughs> Yippee! Alright, Massa and Mune are hanging out here somehow. Better not show them the sword. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I met him. Look, I'm from the future and we've never heard of y'all. Only eternal peace. I mean, maybe you turned into the Kingdom of Guardia, which has had kind of a difficult existence. To the bed chambers. Oh, count me in. Yeah, I bet. It sounds like other people are making the sacrifices for you. Hello. A pendant, you say? A pendant that occasionally glows when it uh, it comes into contact with a complex bit of machinery. Did Luca inadvent inadvertently invent something like the Mammon machine? Seems like they've got some sort of muted prophetic ability as well.
Alright, so Shao's giving Yanis an amulet. Alright. Hmm. Power does strange things to people. So just note, she stopped just to say, I'll be on my way. Hello. There you go. The queen's harsh enough to punish her for being late. Just for saying hi to people. I presume if we had started a conversation, but still. That's some controlling. Go away. You really are a wretched little child. Alphado only likes me. Eh, Chrono's good with cats. Oh, yeah, sorry gang, we already talked to this jerk. Well. Time to see what's up here. Lane's audience chamber. Changes slowly so you can never see it from flatlands into mountains, from mountains into seas. Wow, way to lay it on thick. And that does look a fair bit like Marl's pendant, which she did say is a family heirloom that had been in the family for generations. Also, remember, Melchior wanted to buy it as soon as he saw it. Looks like down at oh, You keep that to yourself. Alright, take it to the man machine. Hmm. I love you, frog. <laughs> it's locked. A mere door binds us hand, foot, and tongue. Yeah! Right? <laughs> All right, to the Mammon Machine, which is powering this place. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Yeah. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. Welcome to their new power source, everybody. Draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Well, maybe we can do that? Yay! Yeah, Lavos is great. Interesting. So, Lady Shell is pretty powerful. The Guru of Life, Melchior. Oh my goodness, I know them all. Boy, uh, maybe should have told him what we were up to. Well? Let's do our best, because it sounds like these people are uh, quite intimate with the one who will destroy the world. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure nothing's going on. Okay. Welcome back to Let's Pray with me, Get Daved. Success? Rono did his best, anyway. Dark mail. 
Yeah, let's let's see how things go. We're equipped. We're looking good. In we go. All right. So we've charged up our pendant with uh, the Mammon Machine's energy, with Lavos energy. So we know there's sort of this connection between Dreamstone and Lavos. In Chrono Cross, I believe it's implied that Dreamstone is like pieces of it that hit the ground, like that arrived first. Uh, I'm a little fuzzy on that. I haven't played it in about five years or so. Oh, thanks, Prophet. I like the Gurus. They're, they're friends of mine, I think. Come get me. Alright, us versus Golem. So, the big trick to fighting this jerk, in my opinion, is to get him hit with an element, any element, right away. Speedrunners will have like a really elaborate strategy to taking out a golem, but uh, I don't do anything too crazy. How it works is they mimic whatever you're hitting them with, so if you hit them with water, they're going to fire water attacks at you. If you hit them with physical attacks, they're going to fire physical attacks at you. And IMHO, their physical attacks are the worst. So you just want to get them onto anything magical. And I also kind of believe that the water attacks are generally their weakest. So we're going to do that. That said, their sort of counter will reset every time they switch elements. So you can, if you're really clever, go pro speedrunner strats and have them bounce between elements and in so doing they'll never get a turn but you know there's a lot riding on it you being wrong in that situation water two i'm just gonna top up to be safe frog's getting around half and I think I'm actually going to have him be the primary healer, and then Chrono and Marl are going to do their thing. Super badass ice sword! Bam! I mean, we've, that's an old tech, and it's still doing pretty good damage. And on the cheap... Maybe could have gotten away with waiting on this a bit longer. Eventually they'll learn Ice Sword too, but that's probably going to be a ways away. Ding! Alright, I'm going to try a different damage approach real quickly, because Lightning Rod is really friggin' strong might get better damage output this way. It's about as much just from it, although at a lot, at a much greater cost. Eh. So I'm not exactly sure how many hit points this jerk has. We should be getting pretty close. Switch him to physical really briefly. Yeah. Look where that got me. We're actually kind of close to learning this trio's triple tech. There we go, we won. They always end on this, which is poison miss. I think it's physical and does poison damage. Or like, could poison you. Bad made that harder to say than it had to be. You'll pay for that. And thus we are trapped in a magic prism.
cool. Yeah, you seem kind of evil. <laughs> You're a nice kid, Jan. You're Yanis. Yanis, being, if you're familiar with mythology, two-faced. One that always spoke truth and one that always spoke lies. Well, you do seem essential to everybody's plans. I would love to rescue Melchior. Please free the Guru of Life. You got it. Guru of Life, Mountain of Woe. Got it. We're in no state to fight, unfortunately, because we were in that little torture tube. Little Yana standing up to the Prophet. Just because Shallow wants it to. And even the cat. Also, the cat doesn't seem to mind him. Hmm. A time gate. Yay! Portal! I love that! Poor Shala. She's powerful, but very submissive in spirit, so the potential to be so great, but uh, she never learned to be hardened enough. That's something she can just do. Not even the prophet. Well, you're the one who suffers. And now we're, you know, there's another gate leading out of here, but. Where has Magus gone? We've seen it all over the place, but most significantly here, because if we want to stop Lavos, it looks like we're going to have to get to 12,000 BC, because that's the most intimate connection with him, aside from, you know, the obvious. Time to check it out. You got it. We're actually going to make a little bit of a diversion, but uh, first things first, we've got to get to the end of time successfully. Uh, ah, dang it, I always get a little impatient, that's an easy one to miss. Uh, and that should do it. Pow! How much of the game you can get through just spamming ice water over and over? It could be quite a bit. Although those are relatively low level enemies. And to the end of time. Now we know where we're going. Maybe our ever-so-helpful guide can, uh, pitch in. Yes. Yeah, it is kind of getting annoying how we're being forced to move through time. The Wings of Time. Well, who would make such Wings of Time? 
Off to the Protodome. Now we could do some romping through time to get some really cool stuff. I'm actually not going to worry about that right now. Because, uh... Well, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> You're going to have to stick around for the next episode to find out. But we're going to do one more rock and roll race here. So you saw me walk through the ruins a while ago. Boom, we're just taking the shortcut this time. Not sure if it's actually faster. If you lose, you don't actually appear on the, oh my goodness. You don't actually appear on the other side of the ruins. So you can just try racing again as many times as you need, but Things could be bad, and we're in the danger zone now. I don't like how I'm formed up. <laughs> no! See you in the next episode. <laughs>